Module 10, let's do this. Okay, this is for PSY202, people who are taking it in winter, specifically. But if you don't, hope you enjoy it regardless. Alright, so we're going to have to start recording a few numbers. Okay, let's hit up enter. Oh dear. How many groups are there? There's one. Independent, yes. Continuous. Measures one. Is there reason to believe? Okay, they have this rough mold. So yeah, let's see if we can make the first uh, note. Yes. Ah, oh, perfect. Describes it themselves. So going back to module nine, number two. Oops. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I forgot how big this was. Uh, is it here? Nope. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Well, that's not for the confidence interval, but you know what? Screw it. I'm going to make our new drawings here. Okay, so basically... Oh, geez, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's so wrong. So basically, if you see this shape somehow, somewhere, if it's both symmetrical, so symmetry, so there is a check mark for symmetry, and it's sand pile. I say sand pile, but they describe it like something else. Yeah, rough mound mole shape. Eh, close enough. As long as it has something like that, or it's gradual, something like that. Either or, it doesn't matter. So we're good for now. Okay, so do we know the standard deviation of the population? Uh, speaking of which, we gotta record some of these, um, gotta record some of these guys. Okay. Depression test, high schools, compality. Okay, and. Okay, wait. Their U, according to this question, this is their mean. 60. It looks like another 6. I don't like that. Actually, you know what? Instead of writing it here, I'm going to write it down on my notebook. But, oh man. This is standard deviation. Don't judge me. 11. And over 15 years, they have developed a new treatment option, randomly selected 51 new patients, and treatment taken over a year. After six years, six months, they have one of the issues in reducing whether or not the treatment does the treatment. Or, okay, and the alpha, this is also important, 0 0.05. Oh no, I wasn't looking. Well, okay. There we go. So now let's go down and see. Yes, we know it. It's actually... Yes, total variance. Okay, so the total variance is just this squared. Because that's also squared. So, um... That's squared. 11 squared is actually 1 to 1. Here, I'll sh Here it is. 11, 11 squared. There you go. 1, 2, 1. Okay, we're looking for reduction in depression. Yeah. So in this case, A would be the correct answer. Okay. Okay, so for this question, now we're going to have to use a new formula. So this is going to be the new formula now. N1, N minus 1, S squared over alpha squared. And with everything we've been given, given, we've been able to deduce that n is equal to 51 from here. And uh, so far, everything is there. Okay, so we know that's 50. That looks, like, that looks a lot like an s. 50 s squared over alpha squared, which we already established 1 to 1. Now, you might be wondering, what is this guy? 
And to answer that question, S is equal to, wait for it, square root sum of y squared, which is a value given to you, sum of y squared over n minus n over 1. Now, I wouldn't skip the squared part because I don't know what the value is going to come out as. But, I mean, yeah, we'll try it without the square root and we'll see what we get. Because we got to times it with 50 and 21 next. So, so let's pull out the calculator. Let's go ham. Oh gosh, it's a little slow. Okay, so 218 squared. That's that. Okay, divided by 51. That's that. Okay, so 104, 435, minus, let's see if this works. Copy, paste, it works! Okay, and then we divide it by 50. Okay, so that's our answer. Now, okay, now since, since this is getting squared, okay, since in here, we're, since we're getting it squared, we're going to say that S squared is equal to that squared, so it's just going to be this squared minus eh. I mean, you get the idea already, so I'm just writing it now for simplicity's sake. n minus 1. And so we're going to take this whole thing. Let's make that circle a little bit better. That whole thing. And put it in right here. Now all we got to do is times it by 50 and so divide it by... Okay, so we divided it by 50, so that was that previous one. So now we got to multiply it by 50 and divide it by 1 to 1. Okay, so how many decimal places? So that's 90.86. Oh, wait, I just realized something. I just realized something. S squared could, technically that N1 could cancel out each other. So you would technically have, so wait, our new equation for this question, I'm gonna give it a new symbol now, which is, don't judge me. Oh my God, it looks like Bitcoin. Uh, we'll give it cents since I am a cheap bastard, okay? So it'll be this minus over n divided by because that makes more sense because we're canceling out the squared from the square root so the square root's gone and n minus 1 times n minus 1 that's canceled out so technically this is our final is our final equation so this baby right here all right, enough, enough, enough. Okay, as previously established, DF is 50. And what was the alpha again? 0 0.05. And since we were looking for uh, this, so technically A, so 0 0.05 is rather important. Come on. Oops. Okay, so that's how many decimal places? Okay, 37. Hold up a second. We'll just copy this. Copy. Paste. Since it doesn't specify, yeah, since we're doing it for greater than, it doesn't matter how big this baby is. Well, technically, yeah, it could be infinity for all we care. Okay, now does this value fit in this range? It does, so we're going to accept that. Oh, wow, that was easy. Wait, I got to read this. This is important, I got to read this. Wait, chill. Wait, chill out for a second. 
Okay, you know what? We'll skip that. Okay, we, I count two groups. One, two, two groups. Mm, groups naturally defined or experimentally defined. Okay, now this is why we gotta read it. Evolutionary psychologists predicted that women who had children would be would be much more consistent than women who had never had children in their emotional response and the sight of a child in distress. This is sounding a lot like question that question from module nine. 0.5. I'm kind of worried where this question is going. Sounds like an experimentally defined. I could be wrong here. And I'm wrong. Fantastic. So if a mother's in distress, just know it's naturally defined. <laughs> mm. Thirty women from the ages of twenty to twenty-five who at least had one child and twenty-seven children. I think this is with between. Because the two participants are different, because one mother has a child, another doesn't have a child. Yep, they are independent. They are continuous. I don't know, I thought this question would be like a yes or no, but here I am. One measure. Is there a reason to believe that the each samples are normally distributed? Okay, going back to that point. Does this look symmetrical? Does it look like a sand pile? Yes and yes. Okay. Do we know the population standard deviation for the emotional responses of group 1 and group 2? Uh, I don't see it anywhere. Usually it would say, in like that previous question, it's 11. Like flat out. Since I don't see a number, or I don't see a word saying standard deviation, I would put no. Okay, sample mean. Oh, this is easy. So we're just going to divide this number with this number. So where's my calculator? Here it is. Okay, so we're just going to take this and divide it by 30. And that's our answer. Once four decimal places, we got four decimal places. Boom. All right. And second one. Where's the calculator? There's so much stuff on here. Okay, so 1342 divided by 27. Easy. There we go. So we're going to take that copy, put it right here. Bang. Okay, does it have to be? Okay, we do not know the population of the standard. De okay, we do not know the population standard deviation. So this is going to be estimated. So we're going to have to calculate it ourselves. And there we go. Uh, there we go. Okay. So remember that equation where it's like S equal to, this is a different uh, question, by the way. So ignore that whole top part. It's going to be square root. Whoa. This squared, which has already been calculated. And by the way, they're different. Squared over N over n minus one and depending on which one we're doing that's the one we're doing all right so calculator so we're doing this one so we got to do this one so this squared divided by 30 all right seems good so far now we got a copy uh oh we missed the one Bang, all right, divided by 29 because of the n minus 1. And then square root the whole thing. What? Okay, times it by 29 because that happened for some reason. Yeah, that, that, that feels weird. If you're not unsure, then you can do it on your own. That's number one. All right, now let's do number two. Same thing, same thing. One, three, four, two. So squared. There it is. Divided by 27. Okay, so let's just copy that first. 
feel like I'm forgetting something already. Nah. That's that's not a red flag. And then you divide this by 26. And you square root the whole thing. So that's this answer. Oh, that's 13. That Because of that's the 5, right? So that right there is 130. And there we go. Okay, so what is the appropriate... Okay, so what we're looking for here is... Is there any evidence that the mother's response are more consistent with mother response in terms of their emotional response? So we're looking for for B. Never mind. I think it's C. No, it's actually C, my bad. We're trying to look if... What? Okay, just ignore ignore those last two. Why is it A? Oh, the question wording was weird. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention, so that costed me two errors. Okay, so given that the scores in both groups are normally distributed, what is the value of the test statistic determined or equal or not? Oh no. Okay, so for this one, what we gotta do is we gotta take S. Remember this S? We just calculated two of them. S1 squared divided by S2 squared. And we have to multiply this with N minus 1 with N minus 2. We'll figure, we'll do this one first and then we'll move to this one. So this is how you answer this sort of question. All right, where's the calculator? No oh boy, all right. So we gotta do that. Actually, can't I copy paste? Yeah. There. Bracket squared divided by. Please work, please work. I don't know if it's. I don't care. Invalid, bruh. Oh, come on. All right, fine. We got to manually input this again. 7102 squared divided by bracket 16.68213 squared equal. Okay, it's that. And now we got a. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna copy, copy that answer. Okay. So we're gonna put brackets, and then we're gonna do 29. What happened? 29 divided by 26 times this answer. So, since that's a 6, that's just 0 0.1. That took forever. Are you serious? No, that's bullshit. No. No, that's a 6. That's, that's bullshit. That's complete bullshit. Alright, whatever. Okay, so as previously established, that first one was 29 because we're taking n1 and subtracting it from 1. n2, 26. And then, so what was the alpha again? 0 0.05. Test. Okay, so the first one is 0 0.5311. Okay, upper, it doesn't matter, it's infinity because of the question. We accept or reject 0 0.09, we reject, it's out. Well, many of you might be asking the question, this was the range? 
Technically, this wouldn't even fit because 0 0.09 is not even bigger than this for it to be even within this range. So we just simply reject it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, that doesn't seem too bad. There are two conditions. All right. Psychologists have reason to believe that people who are editing or dieting would keep trouble of and for some reason would just happen to break it. To test this, she randomly assigned female volunteers to indicate whether they had, they had been on a diet in one and on the other, two conditions were asked of the participants. The taste test. Taste three ice creams to see which they liked better. The participants in condition two to indicate which type of tablecloths they found more attractive. After the tartsmen finished their task, they were told to have some leftover pizza and ice cream to help themselves. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for laughing. I thought you were trying to help them tie it, not make it worse. Oh my god. Perfectly defined. Okay, this is between because the two groups are something completely different. I was not expecting such a question. Oh my god, they're independent. They're continuous. Alright, there was only one measure. Is there a reason to believe? Yeah, it's normally. Because you can see symmetrical and sand found. Standard deviation. I don't think there was a number mentioned. Yeah, apparently. Besides the stuff below, they didn't give us much. Explain the conditions. Sample mean. Alright. Back to the usual. The good old. Good old. Oh my god, that is so mean. Divided by 135. Oh, oh no. Okay. So we gotta put that in. Gotta change that to a 7. Good. Okay. 59129 divided by 134. Oh, okay. We gotta change that to a 2. 2. So we're just taking. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just taking sigma 9 or sigma y and dividing it by the n. Is it estimated? No, we don't even know any standard deviation, so it's estimated. What is the sample deviation for number one? Okay, remember that complex formula? We're doing this again, baby. Wow, this is this is really important. Okay, so we're doing this again. So we gotta do this first, this, this, and then the whole thing. Scary face. Alright. So, uh, where's the calculator? There it is. So, we're doing condition 1 first, so let's do that. Okay, 73206 squared. We divided that, 135. That came out simply. Let's just copy this answer real quick. Okay, so 3, 7, uh, 3, 9, 700, 440 minus that answer divided by 134 because the n minus 1 and then we square root the whole thing that's our answer okay we gotta switch that to an 8 but you get it how do I know it's right? it just appeared right there ah thank you for leaving it like that to 9 squared, leave it at that, uh, divided by 134, okay, big complex number came out, 709 minus that, and we divide that by 133, that, square root it, and that. 
I don't care about including the zero. The zero means nothing, so it should stay the same. Okay, so what are we looking for here? Mm. Wait. Wait, wait. A reason to believe that for some people who have trouble keep dieting. What's the alpha again? Alpha 0 0.5. I think it's C. Oh, that was a guess! Okay. <laughs> okay. Given that the scores in both conditions are normally distributed, what is the value in the test statistic to determine whether it is... Oh, this again. Okay. So, we're gonna have to do this again. So, this population, we're doing, we're doing this again. Oh wait, before we continue, I gotta I just gotta make a quick note. This is important. I don't want to scroll up and down again. How do I know it was in the question above? Okay, so I am Okay, so just please work. Oh no, it's the other way. The other way. Oh, well, that's nicer too, but 4.937218 squared divided by squared. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, now we're going to have to... Okay, we'll just leave that aside, so... So now we do 134 divided by 133 times all of this and now we're able to give that. I swear to god if it does that purple thing again. Two decimal places. That's right. Okay, so, so the first one was 134, and the second one was 133. The alpha for the lower one was a 0 0.05, so we're going to divide that by 2, and 0 0.25. I know that's small to read, but essentially what we're doing is this. Since it was not an equal thing, we're just taking the alpha and dividing that by 2, which comes out as 0 0.025. And the other one is just 1 minus alpha, which is that. And this is going to be the next number for the upper boundary. Don't know why that S is wonky, but don't judge me. So this is our, oh, whoa. This is our first value. Why is that so big? Oh my gosh. There we go. Whoa, all right, one point, that much. All right, this puny guy can't even be greater than this, so we're rejecting that boy. Are they both identical? Hang on, hang on, where's the calculator? We did it a while ago, didn't we? No, they're not. Yeah, the reason they rejected it is because this is not equal to 1. So going back to this equation, which we did before, it's not equal to 1. Can we ignore the hypothesis, given that the... I mean, we cannot, because one, they're different. Two, it's huge. The answer no is wrong. 
They're large enough to... Okay, never mind. They're large enough to ignore. Is it because they're greater than 120? Yeah, they're bigger than 120. They don't want to tell me this, but they, they, they that's what they basically mean. Okay, so for a t-test, it's normally distributed, but we do not know the sample standard deviation and the sample variance is not equal to this. Okay, so I think it's B. There we go. Okay, what is the expected value of the population mean difference between the two conditions under the null? I have not seen a U1 or a U2. Where is the mean? There are no things given. Wait, has this been recording? Yeah, it is. Half an hour has gone by, geez. I have no zero. All right, it's zero. So we're looking for C again. What is the estimate pool standard deviation of the difference of sample means for the two conditions? I honestly have no clue. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, don't tell me. I know what it is. I'm thinking about it. Give me the formula. There it is. This is the bad boy. We're looking for that formula. No. I was thinking about it. So when it said pooled, oh man. N1 minus 1 SD. 1 squared. Is it plus or minus? Forget that all the time. Plus. N2 minus one S D two squared all over plus N two minus two Oh boy. All of that square rooted equals S Y. We'll just call it that for the time being. Oh my god, this is massive. Okay. So we know 35, 34 plus 134 minus 2. We'll just make a note of that. Two, six, seven, real quick, before we do the rest of this. Oh, this is gonna be pain. So much pain. Okay. So first we gotta do first we gotta do is Thirty-four times seven two squared plus thirty-three times twenty-five point. Four nine eight nine one seems about right. Okay, every everything went well. So divided by two six seven because 
We just did that whole massive thing, 267 as previously established. Boom. And then you square root the whole thing, and this is what we get. How many decimal places? Four. Are you serious? That one nine is a troll. Enter the value of the statistic testing the hypothesis between the two. Oh no. So what I think this new t-test is going to be, where it's t equal to y1 minus y2, I forget, could be times, minus u of difference, it was a thing, it was the um, thing we calculated earlier. S Y times one over N one plus one over N two. Okay, I struggle to get this part. This is gonna be the most important part, but let's work with that. <laughs> For your high four. Okay. So y1 minus y2. I believe this could be the sample mean. So this is this guy and this is this guy. This is what I believe to be. Let's figure it out. Okay, so from what we know previously, this is zero. This is 18.3. Three, 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 four. So we're going to calculate this bottom part first. Four times bracket You know what, forget it. Let's just do that first. One divided by one, three, five plus 1 divided by 134. Okay, let's square root that. And now multiply it with this. Okay, so it's this value. Okay, so we won't strike it off, but we'll just leave it there. It's going to be in our history, so we'll just leave it there. Okay, so now for the next one. Okay, since we already knew that was zero, we'll just focus on the top boys. Okay, 452.2667 minus 441.2612. Enter, divided by this bundle of joy. Gives us 45 point something. Are we forgetting something? No, we're not. And now let's see how many two decimal places. And there we go. And that's the right answer. Okay, now what's the... Okay, so DF would be... Um, I just got rid of one note. So the DF would be... Actually, you know what? Let me just get rid of the blue. Oh, come on. Okay, so the DF is just, um, what? It's just N1 minus 1 plus N2 minus 1. I trust this method, but you're perfectly fine saying this minus 2. Either one's fine, but I prefer this method better. So if you remember correctly from before, it was here. 267, so we're just going to fix that. Okay, now what was the alpha again? I know I made a note of it earlier, but it was 0 0.05. And since we said it was like a difference, so we're going to do the same thing again. So it's going to be 0 0.025. Negative 6989. 
And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, but without the negative, but always double check. Yep, it's the same thing without the negative. We reject. Okay, so we're just going to compare. Oh my god, that 45 is way too big to be in that range. So we reject. Question four. Question four. Group one. Independent. Continuous. I don't think I've seen a question that's binary. How many measures? One. Uh, is it? Yeah, well, sand shape and symmetrical. I, I would hesitate to say symmetry, but it's mostly sand shape. Okay, do we know the standard deviation? Let's read this carefully. Yep, right here. I caught it. That was unreasonably fast. 43. Do we know... But what? Oh, whoops. <laughs> yes, we know it. My bad. Okay, now we're looking for that. Okay, the, the reason that was wrong is because it wasn't looking for the number. It was just looking for the yes or no. Okay, so it's... Seriously? That's such a small number. Okay. Uh, maybe it's just me. Okay. So... Does the drug affect the ability of people to think logically? Eh, all right. Uh, chemical, just... I think this is another C situation. Yeah, if it doesn't say greater or less than, or is like, does it have a greater impact or less than impact, then, yeah. Okay, given that the thing... Oh, so it's this type of question again. So we're going to use our new and improved formula. All right, so we're going to give this, this a shot. We're going to give this a shot again. So calculator. So this is what we're going to do. So I just enter that. We have it memorized. OK, so the new formula states we do all these steps. So 5, 1, 3 squared. Okay, maybe I should have taken that back. Big number. There. Okay, now we're going to copy paste. Copy. All right, so we're going to copy. 7007 7 minus that big number. Bang. And then we're going to divide it by this number. Okay, I'm, I'm taking a shot in the dark here. Okay, this, this technically is mathematically sound, but here we go. It's right, it's right, it's right! Let's go. Okay, since this was another C situation, okay. The DF, DF is just simply, um, the, the DF in this situation would be just, why is this blue? Okay, just DF would be, um, uh, N minus one I, I don't know why i put that one there so just oh <laughs> n minus one if we remember correctly it was 33 hang on yeah it was 33 so now we're just going to put it as 32. Thirty-two, and what was the alpha again well 3.05 33 people yep that's perfect Let's go back here. Okay, 0 0.025 like previously. Four decimal places, so that's 18. And that number. And then 75. Whoops. And there we go. Okay, do we accept or reject? Oh wow, we accept. First time this has happened. Uh, what is the population under the mean or under the whole hypothesis? We saw that earlier. 
393. We're looking for C again. Uh, enter to the sample mean. Oh, that's... Oh, I don't like the direction this is going, but okay. So this would be 15113 divided by 33. Okay, we gotta be a little careful with this one. That's a 7 because of that 9 behind it. There it is. Can we use the population standard deviation while testing the hypothesis? Is this a trick question? I'm dead serious. Is this a trick question? Uh, can we use the population standard deviation when testing the... Yes? Ah, oh, it's correct. Okay, it's correct because there's a large database of measures. Sample variance is equal to population variance. Ooh, oh, that's nice. What is the population standard deviation? Oh, great, we gotta calculate this bad boy. Okay, um, so we already know how to calculate it. We, we skipped a few steps doing it the last time around. So it's basically this again. So let's just do it. Uh, wait, technically, where did we leave off with this one? We squared the 153, we divided it by that, we got this number, we subtracted it. Okay, so we're just gonna clear that. We're gonna take this number, because in theory, because if we go back to this equation, we took out the square root and we didn't divide it by the n minus one. But what we're gonna do from here, because I'll show you what we did so far uh, from that previous one. We just did the S. So this is the completed. All right, this is the completed. This has been the nicest I've drawn in a while. So this is what we've completed so far. Now we got to do this step. The black. So we got to divide it by N minus 1 and square root the whole thing. So let's divide by 32 and square root. I need to sum all places again. Four. All right. So there it is. That's wrong. Okay, we gotta do it again. Uh, well, I I tried. I tried. Okay. So yeah. So we're gonna do this correctly instead of jumping the gun. I thought we could have jumped the gun like the last one, but no. All right. Wait a minute. Population. Okay, we'll test it. We'll test it. Enter divided by thirty-three. Bada bing, bada boom. Subtract. Seven, seven minus that. Get this value again, divided by 32. This is looking awfully familiar, but I guess I did something wrong. What? Oh, oops, I am not reading the question correctly. Never mind. Okay, so I just got to do S divided by square root N. So all that's basically saying is I'm an idiot. So that's just pretty much forty three over square root thirty three. Let's do that. 43 divided by square root. Okay, so that's this value. There we go. Okay. So, okay, I think this is a Z test. Because hear me out, hear me out. 
we have a normally distributed uh, thing and the t-tests would require us to be missing one of two things the population standard deviation or the sample variance is not equal to the population variance and we have already established before right here it is equal to the st sample variation so we're going to go with the z-test enter the value of the test statistics okay I gotta cut that out of the video. <laughs> All right. So it's um. This is taking a while. I don't know why, but you are the sample mean. Wait, 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 wait. What was the thing asking for? Okay. If I remember this correctly, what, whoops, no, I didn't, okay, no, no, stop. That would be helpful, but no, okay. So what this question is asking for now is for the z-test, I don't like that, ew, okay. So for the z-test, uh, we're going to take the sample mean, which is y, and we're going to take it by this guy, which is in the question, right there with the standard deviation, and then we're going to divide it by this squared. So that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to remove that square because I am not correct. Okay, so it's four seven nine point. 7 minus 393 divided by 43. That is our answer. How many decimal places? 2. There you go. It's wrong? Sample mean used the standard deviation of the sample mean. Wait, what? What? In computing the z-score equivalent of the sample mean, use the standard population of the sample mean. What the heck? Okay, so you want me to divide it with the other number? Okay, I don't mind doing that. 0.6.67 minus 3.9 and then divide it by... 7.4853 Okay, so it's 8.86 I actually you know what this would make more sense Yeah, that makes more sense Okay, I'm sorry guys for lying to you, but this is this is probably the first run through of the thing Okay, so did we establish it was a C before what was it? Yeah, it was a C and what was the alpha? 0.05, all right. So there's 0 0.05 again. It's going to be 0, 0 0.25. Babushki. Refresh tool. No. Okay. Well, guess I guess I got to do this the hard way now. Oh, since this is z-score, I can do that as the upper boundary. Don't ask. That's the upper boundary. Just believe me. <laughs> do we accept or reject? We reject that. That Okay, you see that 8 point... Just 8 is simply greater than 2. We'll just put it at that. 